How's it going, everybody? Clash here, and once again, I'm back with yet another Minecraft mod review. And this time, it is for the Armor Movement mod, which is pretty damn cool. Somebody sent it to me over Twitter. So cool that I thought I should go ahead and make a video for it, so here I am. And basically, what you have is 12 different items, and I'm going to make all of them here. So bear with me as I make them. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys all of the different crafting recipes that you have to use in order to get all these items. And I think we're actually only going to make 11 to start with because there's one at the end that you have to make using one of the previous craftable items that come with this mod. So I'll show you guys that one at the end because it is probably the coolest one, even though it's not really something that you haven't seen before. Uh, it's just like if you were going to use this and make Minecraft more interesting without cheating, uh, I think this is probably the coolest item. And it does take a little bit of effort to make because you need these blaze rods for it. And you need what I'm about to make right now, which is the glider. This is the first item. And uh, just the glider in general, that's that's a cool item. I think that um, it's probably one of my favorite because the one that you make with the blaze rods, which is the jetpack, you make it from the glider. Um, it's all right, but I feel like the glider, glider, like, I feel like Batman. That's what I like about it. And we also have Bruce here. He's somewhere. Uh, he survived the death and destruction that occurred during the tornado mod. So he should be around here. I don't know if he teleported up here with me, actually. Yeah, it doesn't look like he came up here with me, but I know he's down there somewhere. He's, uh, I don't know if you can see him. No, I can't see him. Um, but he is down there. We will see him once we uh, go ahead and glide down there. But first of all, we have some more items to make here. Let's go ahead and make the life vest. We need the yellow wool for this. I think this is the only time we need the yellow wool, actually. So there we go. Put that over there. And let's actually get rid of the yellow wool because we don't need that anymore. And let's see, what is next? Next is the parachute, I believe. Let's go ahead and put that down there. We need string over here. And then on top, I do believe we need more leather. So let's go ahead and do that. Put that up there. And now we have a parachute, so that's kind of cool. And um, let's see, eight more items to go for now. And then there's one more we'll make at the end. But next is the Heelys. Let's go ahead and make some boots. And the Heelys basically make it faster on land when you want to travel on land, I'm pretty sure. It's like sprinting, but it doesn't take up stamina, if I'm not mistaken, which is really cool. That's another item that I really approve of. Pretty damn beast mode. And I don't know if I mentioned this already. I don't think I did. But you cannot make any of these items using diamond. I'm sure that the mod creator could do that if he wanted to. I'm not sure if he plans to or if he said that he's not going to. But you can't make uh, any of these items using iron materials. Uh, even though you do need iron for some of these uh, different builds, you can't like make an iron chest plate and then use it in place of the leather tunic or whatever. Because I personally think that would make make the uh, the mod OP, and I think that's what the mod creator had in mind as well. So that's why you can only use leather stuff. But moving on, let's go ahead and make some more boots here and put them right there. Um, then we need a piston right here. Oops, messed that up almost. And now we have the spring boots, so it's kind of obvious to see what those do. They make you jump higher, and I'll show you guys all the effects uh, for all of these as time goes on. Like I said, I just wanted to uh, go ahead and build all of them first. Here we go. Let's go ahead and make the, I think these are the flippers. Yep. Go ahead and take the flippers and put them right there. You can swim a lot uh, more easily uh, using the flippers and uh, the last thing that we'll build here in a second. But moving on. Oh, also... The grappling hook. This is like the grappling hook from Terraria. It makes it a little bit easier to travel and whatnot, like if you're in a cave or whatever. So I really like that. The grappling hook is a sweet idea. So let's go ahead and take that and get out of there. Um, what is next? Next we have... I think th Those might be the ice skates. I do believe those are the ice skates. Ice skates are pretty cool, obviously. It allows you to travel on ice a little bit quicker. You can skate on ice. And what is next? Let's see. I think this is the helicopter hat. Let's go ahead and make a helmet, first of all, or a leather cap in this case, and put that right there. Take the iron ingots and put them up there. And now we have a helicopter hat. And on top of this, we can now make, uh, what are these? I think these are the mountain boots. I don't even know what the mountain boots do, to be honest, but I guess we'll figure it out. I have all the descriptions for all the items here, and uh, we'll get to those in a bit, but I just wanted to make all of them first, just because I feel like it's important to show you guys how to craft all this stuff, even though it's all there on the uh, the forums uh, page, the forum thread, I should say, if we want to be technical here. And down to the last item, I believe. Yep. Let's go ahead and take this leather and, oops, get this iron ingots out of here, or these iron ingots, if I can be grammatically coherent for a second. Just trying to speed through this because I want to take, like, the whole video just making stuff. But now we have the scuba helmet, and like I said, the last thing we'll make in a little bit at the uh, end of the video... Uh, that'll be the jetpack, but we need the 
blaze rods and the iron ingots for the jetpack. So I'll go ahead and hold on to those for now, but everything else we can get rid of, including these glass panes. I just had a bunch of different stacks of the items just in case I needed more of them. But there you go. Those are all the items. Let's go ahead and set it today. Time set day so I can show you guys all this stuff at night. And I don't know if it's on peaceful. No, it's on normal. So um, no, this mod doesn't have anything to do with fighting stuff. So we're not going to really need to fight any mobs. But let's go ahead and take the glider here and uh, glide down there to that patch of ice that I made for the ice skates. And actually, let me get out of creative really quickly. And this might be the death of me. It, it might kill me gliding down here. Well, I'm not in creative mode, but I'll, I'll take the chance, just so I can show you guys what it's like in survival mode here. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and do this. You hold F, which is the action key, in order to glide down and use most of these items. So there you go. This is me gliding. Let me go ahead and switch into third person. The cape, my Minecon cape, is just freaking out. And that is pretty much that. It glides a lot faster than I thought it would, which is kind of cool. But you can also use this to kind of run across the landscape and such, which is uh, kind of nice. You can see it. I'm wearing it there, and I like it. You know, it's, a, it's a cool item, but that's pretty much it for the glider. Let's go ahead and take that off, and then put on the ice skates. Go ahead and put those on, and it makes you walk slower when you're on regular land, but as you can see over here, if I can... Yeah, the ice is over here. Uh, once you get on ice, you can skate pretty much. Like You move a lot more quickly, so I'll go ahead and sprint over here, or sprint jump. Let's get into first person, and now let's see how fast we can go on ice. Look at that. Yeah, we're pretty much... Oh, my God, that is fast. Oh! Actually uh, jumped off the ice there. And here is Bruce. He's just chilling out over here. Oh, stop. Okay. So that is the ice skates. Yeah, Bruce over here. I had him sit, apparently. He's floating. Look at him, floating like a beast. Bruce just doesn't care. He does not give a shit. Like, he, he's pretty much invincible. He doesn't care what you say. He, You can spawn, like, 15 tornadoes on top of him, and he still makes it out alive. But next is the life vest. Let's go ahead and check this out. Throw that on. It looks like I'm wearing like an actual vest or something. And uh, let's go ahead and put this on. But basically, it just means that you don't even have to hold space when you're in water. Um, you'll still stay afloat, essentially. So it works like an actual life vest in that regard. I like it. I like it a lot. So let's go ahead and take that off. And next will be the parachute. So first of all, uh, we need to get to higher ground. And you know what? Let's go ahead and make the... Let's get into creative, first of all. Um... So we need to get to higher ground so I can show you guys the parachute and its effects. I could have used that beforehand, but whatever. So let's get into creative, get ourselves a workbench. And Bruce, you're making a lot of noise, buddy. I gotta say, you're really starting to bug me with all that noise. Let's take a crafting table. Okay, we need to get Bruce out of the water. Bruce, over here. Come on, buddy. I need you to walk out here onto land with me. What is he doing? Come on. Whoa, he teleported. All right, sit right there and stop making noise. Let's go ahead and throw that down. And now we're going to make ourselves a jetpack. So let's go ahead and throw that down right there. And actually, one second, let me scroll down in my browser to find this. And, okay, that's how you make that. So we're going to need some blaze rods to the left and the right. And then we're going to need to put these iron ingots on the top and the bottom. And now we have ourselves a jetpack. So let's go ahead and put that in our inventory. So you do have to use one of the items that are uh, craftable with this mod in order to make the jetpack. So that's kind of interesting. I thought that was just kind of neat how they uh, have you use one item that is makeable in the mod to make another. And it makes sense. You go from the glider to the jetpack. It's a logical uh, jump and whatnot into a different item. So let's go ahead and go back to survival. Go ahead and put on the jetpack before we use the parachute. And we're leaving Bruce down there for now. Let's go ahead and fly up here. And you can see now that this is me using the jetpack. It's pretty awesome, I have to say. You know, you can fly, which is always nice. It's essentially just a way to cheat without cheating in Minecraft. You put in this mod, and then you can use the jetpack. If you don't hold space, then you'll fall down like, you know, you would if you weren't using the jetpack or you weren't holding the, the button that makes you fly or whatever with the jetpack. I don't think it needs fuel. In fact, I'm pretty sure it doesn't, but you hold space in order to make that work. So that's it for the jetpack. I was going to show that at the end of the video, but we need to get back up here so I can show you the parachute. So let's go ahead and hold on a second. I just need to make sure I'm, I need to press the right button. Parachute, uh, action key. Okay, I wasn't sure if it was space or action key, but jump off over here. And now I kind of gently float to the ground. So it's kind of like the glider almost, uh, in, or what I thought the glider might be like, and that you kind of slowly descend. But uh, it makes sense because if you had the glider um, slower than the parachute or as slow as the parachute, it would kind of defeat the purpose 
of the parachute or the glider. It should be either or, not both of them. So it kind of makes sense that the glider is faster. But that's it for the parachute. Now we have a couple more items here. Let's go ahead and take that off. And the Heelys. Let me go ahead and put these on. And the Heelys, where are they on here? And there we go. Makes you move fast on land when the action key is pressed, but it does not affect hunger. So that is pretty awesome. Basically allows you to sprint without spending hunger. This is probably something that I would add into Minecraft just by itself. Like just the Heelys mod, just because of how simple and cool it is. Now you don't have to worry about your stamina or your hunger uh, when you're playing Minecraft. I've, I've, this is probably my favorite, just because it is so simple, but it's not overpowered. It's not like the jetpack, where if I'm ever in danger and I'm fighting mobs, I can just fly the hell away. And with this, I can actually, um, you know, I'll just run away. And I think it's a little bit more fair that way. But yeah, this is probably my favorite, or it's my second favorite. I think it's tied, because I like the glider a lot too, just because that's not as OP either. But um, that's it for the Heelys. Let's go ahead and take those off. Have a few more items here. We're actually going to try the scuba and the flippers together. And as you might imagine, the scuba uh, bleh, scuba helmet allows you to breathe underwater. And then the flippers make it so that you can swim faster in water. But it is slower on land, so it, it's kind of logical like that. Just a little bit. A little bit of uh, Minecraft logic applies in real life. But now I can swim faster. See, this is another thing that I think is really cool. Uh, I can not only breathe underwater... But I can move as fast as, like, fish or dolphins or whatever if I had mo creatures, I suppose. But that is pretty awesome. Uh, another really cool perk that comes with this mod. Overall, all the items, like, they all have some kind of use. And in general, just a really sweet mod because of all these different things that you get with it that you can make. So I think we only have a few more things here. The helicopter hat. We'll go ahead and try this. It's like the jetpack, except it doesn't move as quickly. And um, that's really all there is to it. It's just a less overpowered version of the jetpack. It allows you to fly upwards and whatnot. So I think other than this, we have the spring boots, the grappling hook, the mountain boots, and I think after that, I will have shown you guys everything that is to this mod, or is in this mod. So let's go ahead and land back up here. And I'm actually running out of hunger, or I lost a hunger thing, so that's not good. But the grappling hook, kind of want to try this out. Um, actually, do you even, I don't think you need to equip this, do you? When thrown like a snowball. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this in our inventory here, or our main inventory. So ta you take it, and then you right-click on a location that you want to go to, and then you teleport to that location. So that is pretty sweet. Um, I guess it has some... It doesn't have, like, a whole lot of range to it. But overall, that is still pretty useful. I think that's a really um, awesome way to travel in Minecraft. Let's go ahead and get to that tree over there. And no, I went to the bottom of the tree, or to the tree trunk. And then, oh damn, I don't even know what these are. These are new in Minecraft. This might be something that's new with 1.2.3. I don't think this is with the mod, though. Is it? Wait a minute, let me break that. Oh, it's cocoa beans. Oh, okay, never mind then. That's not totally new. I'm not totally unaware of that. That's random. It's just something that I wasn't completely up to speed with on uh, Minecraft. Let's go ahead and get back up there. And then just trying to... Actually, what am I doing? I have a jetpack. Where's my jetpack? We'll just use this to fly to victory. But that's another way. I also like the grappling hook because it's not its not a jetpack, basically. It allows you to travel faster in Minecraft and more easily, but it's not overpowered to the point where you can um, you can just fly wherever you want or fly away from danger. So that's pretty cool. And other than that, there is... Let me see here. I think that is pretty much it. Aside from the mountain boots... Oh, and the spring boots. almost forgot about those. Actually, let me see what the mountain boots do first. Let's go ahead and put these on. Take the jetpack off. And, um, let's see. Allows you to climb any vertical surface. Okay, so it's kind of like in the smart movement mod where you can, uh, climb whatever. If you are actually in the smart movement mod, you can only climb, uh, two different, or like, if, if it's two blocks high, then you can climb that. So, uh, I, I might be wrong on that, but I think that's what that, what that's about. Because in the smart movement mod, I haven't messed with the smart movement mod too much, but you can only climb... Uh, something if it's two blocks high. Or maybe not, actually. No, I think you can actually climb walls regardless. But yeah, it's, it's kind of like that effect. Using these mountain boots, you can just climb up a vertical surface regardless of how tall it is or whatever. Uh, so that's pretty cool. The last one that I have to show you is the spring boots. Let's go ahead and throw those on. And it basically just makes it so that you can jump really high. And the longer you hold the uh, space button, the higher you jump. So you can jump like a regular height just by tapping it pretty much, tapping the space bar. But you can also... Um, jump pretty high like so. Oh god, does this hurt? Oh, it doesn't even hurt. So if you wear the spring boots, you don't take fall damage. That is pretty awesome. 
So yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Other than that, there are bananas. Let me go ahead and show you guys the bananas because uh, they are kind of cool. They just work like apples. It was something random that the mod creator added in and I uh, thought that was pretty neat. Let's go ahead and activate survival. Eat this banana and get some of that hunger back. And there you go. But that's pretty much it for the armor movement mod. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video as always. And if you did, please be sure to leave either a like or a comment or a combination of the two. It helps me out a lot by letting me know that you're enjoying these mod reviews and that you would like to see more on the channel. And it helps the channel grow, which is always fun. And if you guys have any more suggestions uh, for different cool mods that have been made for Minecraft that you would like me to do videos for, please keep leaving them in the comments section below. I'm always looking for new mods that uh, I can make videos for. And it always helps when I get some info from you guys, some different suggestions. And I've been, you know, keeping inventory. I've got a bunch stockpiled already. And if you've already left it before, there's a chance I could have... Uh, I could have missed it, or if you think somebody have or has already suggested the mod, go ahead and leave it anyways, because there is the chance that you might have a mod, or you might have found a mod that uh, nobody else has heard of, or, you know, I haven't seen yet. So, go ahead and leave all the suggestions that you want. Uh, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video once again. Thank you for watching, and remember that I love you all. See you guys next time, and peace out.